Well, hello, how are we doing? Happy Easter, yay. I hope you're all having a wonderful, relaxed weekend. I've been rather busy, just starting to wind down, but I've always got time for you guys, of course. So there we go. Um, okay, so um, last week uh, I did my country song and I just want to uh, send a special shout out to Cody Jinx because he provided the soundtrack for that last week. Um, it was just off, off YouTube. And uh, yes, and I think I've got a little bit of a problem uh, with an addiction because I just, I've written my country album. I was like, I'm not going to write any more. I'm not a country singer or anything, just having a bit of fun. Uh, I've got this great idea for another song this weekend and then another one. So I'm like, oh, so I've got, I want to write them. But so I'm going to and there may be yet another country album coming. But, you know, I really want to encourage you in this because, uh, you know, like I say, w what's going to happen? Well, does it matter? I'm just having a bit of fun. Yeah, I enjoy the format and I enjoy writing and that's what I'm doing. So don't be afraid to do that. If they're rubbish, they're rubbish. You know, I don't care. I may try and sell the lyrics, whatever. And Cody Jinx, if you're out there listening, uh, you're absolutely more than welcome to um, uh, see what you can do with my lyrics. Uh, please get in touch. I'd love that. I'd really be interested. But he has got a new album out. They've uh, changed the game, so make sure you listen, listen up, folks. Really great, really enjoying it. Fantastic. Let's do it again tonight. Uh, really excited. So, yeah, let's change the game by Cody Jinx. So, yes, uh, now those who are eagle eyed out there may notice something different about my video this week. Now, let me give you a hint. Oh, someone said to me about your videos aren't really well lit. And I was like, what, what do you mean? You can see me, well, not the invisible man, but look, look at the difference. Wow, that's too bright, see? Um, I've got to get it right again now. Right, right, no, right, I was right, I was right. Um, is that right? Yeah, yeah I think that, there you go. Uh, makes a big difference, and thank you to the person that pointed that out to me uh, about lighting. A lot of time trying to learn all things TV. Um, and so hopefully that's another lesson. Lighting does make a big difference. Uh, thanks to the person that donated this to me, a studio light. Um, yeah, it's, it's fantastic. And that leads me on to um, just a, a, a kind of, just want to put this out there. As you can see, if you're following me on social media, I am looking for acting work. Uh, I'm just starting out. I've got no experience to speak of, just, you know, I've obviously done a bit of school, a bit of university. Uh, but I'm really looking to study, uh, I want to study acting and I'm really looking for a role in preparing in film and television, uh, something I can sink my teeth into. So if you know of any auditions or would just like to talk or have even got any advice and tips, please feel free to uh, contact me. It's a big change of career and it's something that I need to do simply because my writing, uh, I'm while, whilst I'm happy as, as much as one can be, to be happy with the writing itself. I, I believe my stories are at least good enough to read, hopefully, you know, enjoyable enough. I really struggle on the organisation side of things to be running ads, so I need to find a, a steady source of income, you know, something that I can really excel at, so I can get that coming in, and then I've still got to try and get organised to do ads, because when you do an indie, you know, it's really, you've really got to be organised, it's, it's like a business. So that's why it's not that I'm abandoning writing, as you've just heard me about my country songs, I'm always going to be writing, uh, but I've always wanted to do acting and it just, it, it's all coming together, it's all fitting together. So, uh, so yeah, so if anyone out there has got any suggestions or any auditions, please, please, please get in contact. If you're an acting agent, then you may well hear from me because I'm determined to get there. Um, so there we go. So, uh, uh, so just, sort of, flowing nicely on the television front as well, on film fronts. Recently, um, I hope you all heard by now, but Amazon Prime has remade Rose, Roadhouse, Road, uh, the 1989 Patrick Swayze film. Now, I was a big fan of the original, uh, and as a kid, watched it many, many times. Now, uh, obviously I had a little bit of trepidation, a, 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 about the remake, I was half excited, half, oh, you know, what is this going to be like? And I've now watched it, and I can say with conviction that it is fantastic. 
I really, really enjoyed it. It's a rollicking popcorn action flick, which is exactly what it should be, exactly what it's set out to be. But, uh, you know, deeper than that, I, I thought it was really well thought out. Because if you watch the original, and I suggest that if you haven't seen it for a long time that you do so, uh, there's some really, really good nods to it. Uh, and I think that's something that a lot of remakes miss or get wrong. You know, they just try to be too too removed. And there's some real good thought gone into to the references, the whole homage. Um, there's some humorous ones, some really subtle and nuanced ones, uh, but it's really well thought out. I mean, Patrick Swayze himself said that Roadhouse to him was the original was like a, a Western. You know, he was kind of the cowboy going in and there with the bad guys. And they even referenced that. So it's not that they've just watched the film. They've thought about the whole process, the whole the whole entity of it of the story and, and it, it being a film, the process of it being a film, and really try to honour that, and I think they have. And for me, I just thought it was great. Jack Gyllenhaal was just fantastic. Uh, just, it was just the perfect balance. You know, it, it's, it's supposed to be fun. Uh, and would you please, please, please leave Conor McGregor alone? Leave the poor man alone. It's just all this stuff online, I, I thought it was brilliant. He's supposed to be over the top. He's played it up and he's done it excellently. It's a riot and it's exactly what you want. Fights scenes are fantastic. It's got that right kind of tone and that right vibe, exactly what you want. Stop thinking about it. Stop looking too hard. Sit back, enjoy the ride. So, and on that note, I think I have mentioned this before, um, but so this is uh, Patrick Swayze and uh, Lisa Niemi, 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 butchering the name, sorry. Uh, it's his wife, and they wrote a, a book. I can't remember if it's quite posthumous or we started it when he was still alive, or I can't remember. Um, but uh, it's called The Time of My Life. It's fantastic. It's a quick read as well. And obviously, unfortunately, because Patrick's passed, you know, it's, it's not the happiest ending. But it's actually overall really uplifting. I really enjoyed it, really inspirational. So I uh, really would recommend reading that. So if you want, want a good weekend, Read this, watch the original Roadhouse, and then watch the remake. Fantastic stuff. So, okay, uh, I'm going to leave you there because we're on seven and a half minutes and I don't want to bore you all to tears. <laughs> so I just want to say a very, very happy Easter to you all and I shall speak again soon. Cheers. Bye-bye.